Mohammed Al-Zubi's Berlin address is a shipping container. He fled Syria and has been in the German capital for eight months. The 27-year-old is on his own, but he's made some friends. Okay. The qualified electrical engineer says he wants to build his future in Germany. He's looking for a job and says he's thinking of additional training to improve his chances. He's also been learning German for three months. I'm looking for an apartment here. I can't really study German here very well because the room is very small. And with two people in it, it's very loud. But up to now, it doesn't really matter. He lives in a migrant shelter located on the outskirts of Berlin. Its capacity is about 370 people. Most of them come from Syria, Eritrea, and the Balkans. People from 20 different countries live here. The Bonitz company set up the shelter. It's one of four that the container merchant has supplied in Berlin in the last six months. It's made of 1,650 containers. They come from the Czech Republic, Slovenia, and Slovakia. The Bonitz company sells and rents them. They cost between 12,000 and 15,000 euros each. For the small company, it's a huge commission, the likes of which they've never had. Our turnovers are going up, of course, but the costs are multiplying too. The investments I'm having to make are many times larger than what I can earn with the containers. So it's not worth it? No, it is. You invest in the future. Peter Bonitz has taken out a 2 million euro loan from the bank in order to finance the operation. He's outsourcing some of the jobs to other companies. Assembly and heating installation, for example. But now he's got another problem. Container factories have a delivery time of about 16 weeks at the moment. So we'll only get new supplies just before Christmas. And we're already running out of containers. Germany is set to take in 800,000 migrants this year and can't keep up with the influx. People are being put up in hotels and hostels to cover the shortfall. The business seems to be paying off, especially for the hostels and hotels that don't have full occupancy. The inflatable shelters produced by the Paranet company are also in big demand. Until about two years ago, the air domes were used primarily for gyms and swimming pools. But now, Paranet's chief executive, Jürgen Vovra, is prioritizing other jobs. He's received orders to put up 20 new shelters in Germany in the next six months. Towns, states and the federal government are all making inquiries. So are various foreign governments. There's enormous need. The numbers have surprised everyone. The towns are barely coping. Residents are unhappy. Their gyms and sports facilities are being used as shelters, and that limits them. And then there are just the sheer number of arrivals. Jürgen Wolfra won't tell us what he's getting for rent, but each air dome is insured for 2 million euros. The city of Berlin is renting them. A Berlin charity for the homeless sets them up and equips the emergency accommodation. About 300 people can stay in the 2,500 square meter area. It's open plan so the shelter can be ventilated. But there are 50 sleeping compartments that fit a maximum of six people each. Of course, we have to admit that it's profitable for us. But on the other hand, we're not the ones who've created the migration emergency in Germany. Instead, the situation has just developed and we're in a position to help towns and cities handle the influx of migrants. The migrants remain in the emergency shelters for only about three or four weeks. The solution is just a temporary one because of the heat and the noise in the domes. 
Jürgen Wolfra says that his tents will only be needed for a limited time until enough migrant shelters are built around the country.